So in this video we are going to discover about memory organization so this definitely requires some basic knowledge but if you have watched my complete playlist then definitely you will not get stuck otherwise you can get bouncer at some moment immediately because this topic really needs the basic knowledge so if you have watched my video or if you have the basics from yourself read from broke anything that's fine so let's begin with the topic memory organization so whenever i say the word memory four things should come to your mind in case of microcontrollers internal rom external rom internal ram external ram so there are the four memories so here we will study about the rom here we are going to study about the ram and in pin diagram i had said that we will study about ea bar in detail so we will study that also so let us see the internal rom first video way back i had discussed uh, internal rom is 4 kb and i had discussed the range that why, how this range came to be 0 fffff so you can watch that in architecture video okay so i had discussed this in the architecture video okay so that's it nothing more to learn it's just rom having the memory 4 kb so now i want to use the internal plus external rom so there is some expandable memory which is 64 kb which i have discussed say in the pin diagram video you can watch that so external rom uh, expandable memory 64 kb but 64 kb for both internal plus external rom so 4 kb is my internal rom already that means how much will be my external rom it will be only 60 kb so you can see this same range applies here and there is the new range how to find this range watch in the architecture video so this is the range only external rom means definitely 64 kb means this is discarded now we will not discard this like take it and throw it somewhere and no electrically discarding yani connecting the pins out means not connecting the pins so again the range is from 00 to ff directly so what is ea bar ea bar is external enable access so where we are giving the complete external enable access so in only the last slide because here internal rom is discarded so definitely since it is active low so here it will be zero if it would be active high then it will be one but active low signals work completely opposite here we are using internal ram also so ea bar will be one because complete external access it's not given and here again ea bar will be one since ea bar stands for external access or enable external access so in this way we have discussed the internal rom so far which was way easy it, it is just about the knowing the ranges because you cannot memorize that very easily so i am rubbing because to avoid some kind of confusion so that's it now we will study about the internal ram in detail so how much is the internal ram it is 128 bytes divided into 80 bytes 16 bytes and 32 bytes which make a 128 bytes in total you already know there are 32 general purpose registers which we can use from arithmetic operations arithmetic or logical operations these 32 registers as i discussed in the carry flag lecture psw lecture are divided into eight and having groups of four which means 32 now these four are basically bank 0 bank 1 bank 2 bank 3 and each bank has seven registers you can see r0 to r7 r0 to r7 r0 to r7 and r0 to r7 at single time only one of each bank is activated by the code which we enter in the psw 0001011 so that's it this completes the 32 bytes so easy so you can simply see the range i can tell you one thing for hexadecimal counting this is the way hexadecimal counting works one or start from 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 a b c d e f after f comes 1 0 because where you left you left at 9 then you went into sub alphabets so how what comes after 9 it comes 10 which is 1 0 so 10111213141415 and it's completely so on so okay 
after okay let's now complete come back so you can see 00 to 07 then 08 09 0a 0b 0c 0d 0e 0f 0f ke baad kya 0f what after 0f 10 11 12 13 14 and so on so you can calculate now this on your basis it's very easy so till here everything is fine so 32 bits are complete so let me remove this because it creates okay not remove because we will need this for stack now the rest 16 bits the rest 16 bits are used for what I can say as a bit addressable area what as a bit addressable area now what is meaning of the bit addressable area now let us consider the location 20 so suppose this is my location 20 so 20 has 8 bits suppose because it's an 8 bit part of an 8 bit processor or controller so usually what is done these 8 bits are combined into one and the location 20 is assigned a complete value means all are together combined way one way okay that's it but here in this case it is in bit addressable area here every bit is independent means you can connect earlier you can you could connect a fan you could earlier connect a fan to location 20 okay now you can connect a fan to first bit of 20 you can connect a tube light to second fan to third ac fridge washing machine you, this is bit addressable each bit is separate as we see in the port in the architecture not the architecture but the pin diagram video so same way there are 16 bytes okay there are 16 bytes and each byte has 8 so it becomes 128 so there are 128 bytes in total which we can use separately and independently so 128 bytes I again and again please don't force me to say the range I had tell already so range becomes 7f of 128 bytes I can tell no I should not tell because it will increase the length so we can see 00 to 07 08 to 0f and this will go till 7f I also have instructions suppose I have instructions set b set b means make one which one set b means set the bit so suppose I write set b comma 20 so this will make all the bits of 21 same way I have separate instructions like set the bit and separate instruction for the pin I will that discuss that in detail so I can separately point out the pin number I can write point 07 so not point basically but I have instructions which I will discuss in detail because it will require time so I can individually make it one or I can make as a whole one so whole one means byte operation so I can perform byte operation on full number 20 or I can perform bit operation on 8 bits of 20 so same this way it goes on bit addressable area then we have some 80 bytes kept for general purpose registers which are basically RAM structure of RAM and internal structure which is not that much required which contains SFR basically special function registers so there are some 21 special function registers which are preserved for some special function they are not given to us okay some of them we have access but generally not like tcon scon t0 t1 something like that pc dptr now we pc we we know the theory but we cannot access pc right so last thing is what is the stack stack is something now i will not discuss the theory but just telling from where does the stack start so stack starts from here means stack is what stack okay let me discuss okay stack is something which operates in last in first out manner suppose i keep this marker there in above this i keep this marker and i keep this marker so how they got one two three but how i will remove them i will remove them as three two one so which was last in will become first out this is the stack and when we enter 
push something into stack it is called as push operation when we take out something from stack it is called pop operation so stack is nothing like oh this is microcontroller and this is some stack no no stack is preserved locations they are just preserved so that is stack starts from 0 7 now there is also a way which I will discuss in one minute you may not understand because I cannot go to detail it will take 20 to 25 minutes more so stack suppose this is pointing towards this stack pointer there is always a pointer like there is always a message you open a whatsapp you open your mobile there is always a text message so when new message comes it doesn't overlaps on that message it comes one step earlier so it will come one step earlier yani this was if sp then sp will become sp minus one or plus one in other cases i will not go into the detail but definitely here it becomes plus one because we are going upwards so sp will come here so that's why we have kept our stack pointer at this so when we push something into stack so it will become plus one and start from bank one so that's it that was all about the memory organization i hope you got it very well so consider subscribing and sharing because it got it takes really a lot of effort it's now 5 15 am because i cannot shoot in the daytime because you will hear the chow sounds of children and the songs played by the neighbors and it's not a study environment so i hope you like the video thanks and all the very best don't forget to share and subscribe